Ladies and gentlemen, you know who that is. That is the, uh, yeah, legendary, I can say it, living legend, Bob Arum. In March, Bob, you said 50 years in the business. What a business it is. How can you describe it to someone who comes from Mars and drops down and asks you, Bob Arum, what's this boxing business like? Well, the 50 years have been really memorable. It starts with Muhammad Ali, and the 50 years will be completed with uh, Manny Pacquiao. So that's not pretty bad, particularly all the great fighters that we promoted in between. But you're continuing to hack away, man. You ain't stopping. Manny might go, Manny might stay, but you're gonna continue on. And there is always that refreshment of talent, sometimes better, sometimes it's worse. I thought we would actually get maybe a uh, matchup that would indicate who might be next. I thought Terrence Crawford might get this uh, gig against Manny. Bob, tell me exactly, you know, why are we seeing Bradley? Why didn't we see Crawford? If you could educate the uh, watchers a little bit on that. The distributors, mm -hmm. uh, cable and uh, satellite, uh, felt that Crawford wasn't that well known uh, to feature him in a pay-per-view uh, uh, match with Manny Pacquiao, such as this, uh, and that Bradley would do a lot bigger numbers. And Crawford's time will come. Uh, he's fighting here at the Garden the end of February. He'll fight again at the end of June, and then hopefully we'll get him in a pay-per-view match uh, by the uh, uh, second half of last of next year of this year. Uh, Crawford's an amazing talent, great young man, and will be a future superstar in this business. But, you know, you have to listen to your customers, and our customers are these distributors, and they felt it wasn't ready yet. Okay, and April 9th could be Manny's last one, could maybe be not, because guess what? If Floyd Mayweather comes out of retirement, or one or two other options. That's why at your LA press conference you said he might be his last fight, it might not be. Either way, you're gonna be fine. You said talk about this possibly being Manny's last fight, what he's meant to the sport. Well, Manny has talked about this being his last fight and unlike a lot of athletes who are reluctant to leave the stage, if he leaves the stage, it will be to go on an even bigger stage the political stage. And so it's not like a step down for him as it is for most athletes who retire. Like, you know, the, the, the great poem about an athlete dying young. Uh, they all do because they retire. Right. Uh, but uh, I don't know what Manny is going to do in the future. I don't know if anything could bring him back into the ring. But as far as we're concerned, we have an enormous amount of talent, uh, a lot of whom will be on display on April 9th. We have these three terrific Hispanic fighters, uh, Jose Ramirez from the Fresno area, uh, who's drawing big crowds uh, in his first 10 round fight, Asca Valdez, the Mexican Olympian, uh, fighting uh, Evgeny Gradovich, the former champion. Uh, and uh, finally, Hilberto Ramirez, the number one contender in the super middleweight division, fighting for a world championship against Arthur Abraham of Germany. So people will be able to see these three talented young men, uh, all of whom, or one or two of whom, can be the future superstars in boxing in the years to come. And of course, February 27th, we have two other future superstars. Back here in New York, uh, Madison Square York. Garden exactly, Theater. Exactly. Uh, we have uh, uh, the Terrence Crawford and uh, uh, Felix Verdejo of Puerto Rico. And uh, those, those uh, up-and-coming prospect contenders that you mentioned, those are the, all the guys managed by Donald Trump, right? Well, this is the uh, this undercard. Is, Bob, that was a joke. No, I understand. It wasn't a the good undercard. Joke. No, it's, I think it's very important. <laughs> I think the this, yeah. this this is I call it my Donald Trump undercard, 
Uh, it's uh, uh, these Hispanics uh, are an in-your-face to Mr. Trump and his plan to deport uh, 11 million undocumented people who live among us and do so much work, uh, contribute so much, uh, and are such good people. Right. To the idea that you would even think about forcibly deporting those people out of this country is something that's abhorrent. And uh, I think this undercard is dedicated to all those people uh, who uh, want to come and with a sensible solution uh, to the problem of undocumented people in this country. And there are sensible solutions, and right-minded people are working towards that end. Right-minded person, the most right-minded person, judging by listening to you in L.A. the other day, I feel like you're a Hillary, more of a Hillary Clinton fan than a Bernie Sanders fan, yes? Well, I have great admiration for Bernie Sanders, mm -hmm. but I don't hold with him uh, the same disdain for Wall Street and the economic system that he does. Uh, I believe that there have been terrible abuses that haven't been dealt with, Correct. but you don't throw out the entire system as he appears ready to do, and you don't even think in terms of raising tax rates higher than they are now because that isn't good for the economy. Uh, I believe that the middle path that a Hillary Clinton takes is something that is good for America, and that's the reason I support it. Makes good sense. Last question for you. Exactly what has Manny said to you, Bob, in regards to this being my last fight or not? Has he left the door open? Has he said probably, maybe, certainly? What? How, does, how has he left it? He told me that this is his last fight because he will, as a senator, have to devote full time to those duties and will not have the opportunity to train. That's what he's told me. Now, I'm still not going to say and guarantee that this is his last fight, but has he told me it is his last fight? Yes. Excellent. April 9th in Las Vegas. Pacquiao versus Bradley 3, Bob Arum in March, 50 years in the boxing business. It's not Pacquiao against Bradley 3. What is it? It's Pacquiao against Bradley, the real fight. This is a different Bradley from the Bradley that fought Manny the first two fights. Good distinction. Thanks, Bob Arum. Thank you. Happy New Year.